This past winter, I saw the movie, A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, which was the movie about Fred Rogers starring Tom Hanks, and it had a really beautiful message. So in the movie, Lloyd Vogel is an investigative reporter for Esquire magazine, and he's a critical reporter. And he's not thrilled about getting assigned the story on Mr. Rogers, but he decides to accept the challenge and uncover the real Mr. Rogers. I mean, who in real life could be that good natured? Well, people warn Fred Rogers, hey, don't have anything to do with this Lloyd Vogel. He's just going to shred you to pieces in his article. Well, Mr. Rogers does the exact opposite. He gives Lloyd Vogel his undivided attention. In fact, my favorite line on the whole movie is when Lloyd calls Mr. Rogers and Mr. Rogers says, Lloyd, you know what the most important thing in the world to me is right now? And Lloyd's like, I, I have no idea. And Mr. Rogers says, it's you. You are the most important thing in the world to me right now. So Mr. Rogers gave Lloyd his undivided attention and he begins to get Lloyd to open up about his own personal life. And we discover in the movie that Lloyd has this underlying anger because he's estranged from his father. Well, Mr. Rogers accompanies Lloyd and by the end of the movie, he gets Lloyd to reconcile with his father before his father dies. Well, when Lloyd Vogel finally does his article in Esquire, he does this beautiful article about Fred Rogers, how he's the same person off screen as he is on screen, that Mr. Rogers is the real deal. Well, today is the Solemnity of the Ascension. So we celebrate that Jesus accomplishes his, his mission, that he ascends to the right hand of the Father. And it's on this day that he hands the baton off to his church. We hear the Great Commission every Ascension Sunday. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. This is our call to be evangelists. By virtue of our baptism, we're all called to evangelize, to witness to Jesus in the world and to share our faith. I'm reading right now the book, Making Missionary Disciples by Curtis Martin. And I wanna make just two points about evangelization. First, evangelization begins with prayer. A lot of us, we get kind of nervous when we even hear the word evangelization because we start to think, who me, how could I do that? I don't know, I don't know my faith well enough. That's because we think evangelization is up to us. But evangelization is first and foremost, the work of God. And so it begins with prayer. I love in the movie how Mr. Rogers spent time every day with scripture, meditating on God's word. See, we can't give what we ourselves don't have. So if I'm gonna share my friendship with Jesus, I first have to have a friendship with Jesus. So it begins with our own daily meditation, spending time with God's word, growing in our own friendship with Jesus. And then each day I invite us just to say, Holy Spirit, Help me to be your instrument in the world today. Help me to smile at that person that's downtrodden. Give me the words you want me to say to give somebody hope. Help me to love the person today that feels unlovable. Help me to give my attention to people that you put in my path, which is my second point about evangelization. It's all about friendship. Pope Francis uses the word accompaniment. The reason I told the story about Mr. Rogers is he's really the model of an evangelist. I love that line again. What's the most important thing in the world? You are. Do we treat people that way in our own lives? Or when we encounter people, do we treat them as an interruption or a problem to be solved or somebody to get rid of? Or do we love the person that God puts right in front of us each day? That's what evangelization is all about, to witness to Christ, to the person God puts right in front of us. I invite all of us this week, begin to bring to your own prayer, my prayer. Who are three people that God is inviting me to invest in in my own life? Begin praying for that person. And then evangelization takes time. It's about friendship, about accompaniment. Simply get to know that person, ask them questions, get them to open up about their own lives and love them. Perhaps all of us could be a little bit more like Fred Rogers.